welcome. Right, so I've got this incredible pineapple juice recipe that you need to try. Yes. If you're a fan of pineapple juice, then this recipe is definitely for you. I will cover how I make my pineapple concentrate, then also move on to making my pineapple tea, and finally, how I make my pineapple juice. Now, before I can do any of this, of course, one will need their pineapple. But first of all, we need to scrub the dirt off the pineapple. What I tend to do is place a bowl in the sink and under cold running water and using my brush, which is a well-used brush, to scrub the dirt off the pineapple. The reason why I place the bowl in, it allows me to see how dirty the water is. And I will keep scrubbing this until the water does run clear. And that might take you about three rinses and that's good. Next thing is my salt. So I'm using my salt and I'm scrubbing the salt in and that would kill any bacteria that's in there anyway. So I'll repeat this, um, I think on two occasions and I'm good to go. But then the final stage is I need to make a solution which includes my salt and bicarbonate soda. Yes, and I will soak the pineapple in this solution for about 10 to 15 minutes. So that ensures that if there are any preservatives, anything that is, you know, I can, my eye cannot see, that it can get rid of it beautifully. So after that, after the soaking of about 10 to 15 minutes, I'll then just give it a good rinse. But when I said I was giving it a good rinse, I think I just found the pineapple such a beautiful ornamental thing. So I was like, let me just do some waterfall thing. I guess, you know, one has to be playful sometimes, not you know, be too serious about life sometimes, you know? So anyway, after that, I'm like, okay, now let's make our pineapple tea. So I am going to, of course, peel the skin off the pineapple. And now, you know, I do have that confidence now that I've got rid of anything that's onto work. So now I can make my tea beautifully. And of course, there is no waste in this kitchen. If you've watched any of my videos, I think I keep talking about it. So yes, we're going to peel our pineapple and I'll be placing the pineapple skins and including the core of the pineapple into my saucepan, which I've added some water to. Now that my pineapple skins and core are boiling beautifully, here I've got my fresh lemongrass and I'm just giving a snip or two. And of course, I'm just gonna give it a rinse and add that fresh lemongrass to my tea, yes. Now the tea, when cooled down, when steeped and cooled down, will also become the base that I use for my pineapple juice. So do stay tuned on how I make it. Okay, so I'm going to allow this to simmer and then I'm adding a pinch of salt, yes. The reason is, it means I don't need to add too much sweetness to it, absolutely. But secondly as well, it acts as a preservative because this kind of stock or tea, may I say, does last me sometimes for four or five days. Yes, I just keep replenishing it. So now I've just turn the heat off and I've covered it just to allow that flavor to infuse whilst I then tend to my blender. Okay, so to my blender, I've got two slices of lemon and some salt because I'm going to neutralize the smell in the blender and also clean the blender. So yes, with that, I'm also going to add a bit of lukewarm water and it's my trick because sometimes if you use your blender in blending things like onion and stuff, you just want to get rid of that smell all together and it also just cleans it beautifully so now that my blender is ready now let's make our pineapple concentrate right so for the pineapple concentrates i'm just going to be blending the pineapple and i will be straining the pineapple nothing more nothing less yes it's just pure pineapple juice and it's intense Thank you. 
Now, why do I like my pineapple concentrate? It's because I love to mix and match my juices. So with a concentrate, it means a little does go a long way as and when I tend to do that. So you can just see this as thick and beautiful. Now, yet again, if you want this to last a bit longer, a pinch of salt goes a long way. Um, but with this, it does last me for about three days in the fridge. Yes, and it's just good to go. Alternatively, you can add um, a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice, and that would also help. But I just need my pineapple juice pure and simple. Yes, so I can do my mix and match perfectly. Yeah, am I a bit fussy? Maybe, maybe not. Um, if you're fussy like I am, maybe, um, leave the comments below. Just tell me and share your own tricks as well. So here I've got my bottle, which of course is sterilized, which means that I just, you know, steeped it into hot water and allowed it to naturally dry and then added or bottled my pineapple juice. Now, once I did strain the pineapple concentrate out of it um, i'm not going to throw that residue away it goes into the tea you see exactly so there's no waste in the kitchen so every flavor is in there so at this point as i said um, i had taken this off the heat um, because i don't want to overcook any of the nutrients in there so here i've got my honey um, which is available on buy in digital.com and it has this beautiful minty flavor and it's all natural of course and it's raw honey and here I'm mixing it all together. So you can see that it's still warm and you can see the, you know, the heat coming through. But yes, this is great. And it is at this point that um, I'll be adding my star anise. And it's just only two pieces of star anise. And then chili. Yes, I do like pineapple in chili. But I'll tell you something. You do not... It's not like spicy, spicy like that. No, it gives a residual heat, which is so nice and beautiful. And then I add my slices of lemon. And if you have lime, you can use it. Um, at this stage, I'll just allow it to just steep for about five minutes and then I can serve it and enjoy it. But of course, I'll be using it for my pineapple juice. So I'll wait till it completely cools down. So if you want your tea, you just warm it up a little bit and you've got it. So here I've got my pineapple concentrate. And guess what? I'll just be straining my beautiful pineapple tea into my pineapple juice. And it's got that lemongrass flavor. It's also got that hint of chili and the star anise coming through. And you've got the lemon slices as well. So, yeah, this is not any other drink. This is in Dudu by Fafa. And now uh, look at this beautiful golden, golden pineapple juice. You know, I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. And if you've watched it to this point, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I am so appreciative of you. Look at this. Uh huh. So now all I'm going to do is yet again bottle this and reserve it in the fridge. So as and when my recipe requires it or I feel like having it, I'd have it. Absolutely. If you did enjoy this recipe, then yes, do check my ginger drink recipe where I ended up using unpeeled fresh ginger for the drink. Absolutely incredible. And then of course, I like to fuse things. So we've got the ginger, now we've got the pineapple. And guess what? You know, it's not any other food. We're going to be twisting this. Now, 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 if you haven't visited my online grocery shop, buyindudu.com, then you're missing out. Yes, we do ship to the U s to france to ireland yes and we'll be adding more countries as we go along but you are going to find a plethora of flavors natural flavors of course and i can't wait to introduce you guys to the west african chili pesto exactly i told you it's not any other food it's in do do bye for fa and then again i'd like to take this opportunity to thank every single individual who has supported my small business to this point. I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kindness and support is unbelievable. And I wish you all the same success and more love, happiness, and everything your heart wishes. Yes.